Hi, I'm Jerry Tartalino with RetroZone Inc. We make retrofit damper systems for zoning systems. Uh, and we, we make these in a way that we can retrofit zoning into many, many applications where there's an existing duct system and it's just impossible to use mechanical motor driven damper. So I've been asked to give a, just a brief training seminar on a particular topic and that is how to install the flex damper in an application where the duct system is mounted on the ceiling in a basement and it's been covered with sheetrock. How can we bring zoning to those applications? In those type of applications you'll have a lot of round transitions coming off the duct that then round, round pipe will run underneath the ceiling and up through the walls to the second and perhaps the third floor besides some basement registers. But the problem is the sheetrock covers the ducts and it's just difficult to get uh, dampers in there, uh, but we have developed a way with some uh, help of some very innovative minds in the uh, Midwest uh, who have uh, shown us an installation tool that we have taken off with and made a few changes to it and we want to demonstrate that to you right now. This is a round flex damper. This is the way you get it. When you get it, you size it and then you put the two ends together with a special heat activated tape. That gets you this. This one's ready for installation. And I should point out, again, this application, what we're demonstrating here is specifically for basement applications where the duct system has been covered with sheetrock. If you have access to the round ducts, you can simply cut a three-sided piece of metal out of the duct, peel the metal back big enough to get the damper through, place it in, and install it. It's just that easy. It's also possible to install these from the register, but that's not what we are covering today. I also do want to point out that there is a rectangular flex damper. This one's not wide enough, but it simply inserts in the duct. If it were the right size, it would go from one size to the one side to the other. And then when it inflates, this blade simply lifts up and touches the top. And it's also possible with this product to bend it and to put it in through uh, through registers and other applications where you couldn't really get a traditional mechanical damper. This is the solenoid panel and pumping unit. This is what actually inflates and deflates these dampers. And the pressures that we use are less than a half PSI. They're very low pressure. And we use vacuum to evacuate the dampers. And we'll show you that here in just a second. Now let's get on with the, the, uh, the new reach tool where again, working from an access hole, perhaps you've cut one hole in the sheetrock and you're going to use a Home Depot access panel cover, or you're in the mechanical room where the duct isn't sheetrocked over and you've cut an access door there and you're standing on a ladder and you're looking down the duct. Now we're going to show you how to use the reach tool to install these dampers from here to these ducts. This is a piece of aluminum. It could easily be a piece of electrical conduit that has been bent with a conduit bender into a 90 degree arc. That's all it is. It could be however long you need it to be. For a, for a dealer who is putting these in, you might want three or four of these, a three footer, a six footer, and a 10 footer, because obviously the longer they, they get, the harder they are to work with. Now let's, another thing I want to point out with the damper we're about to install, a very important point. I have a yellow piece of marker tape to indicate where the damper is in the duct once it's installed because in real application it won't be in a clear piece of duct that we're showing just so you can see the damper. You won't actually be able to see it. So let's go ahead and get on with installing this damper. I'm simply going to feed the tube in all the way down to the valve. We're going to take a piece of common scotch tape. We're going to fold the damper as you see here. Now just to show you what's going on before I actually put it in there, we're going to reach down there and we're going to put it in and then pushing on the tube we're going to be able to extend it on down the duct. That's really the, the key to this. So that we have more tubing to push on I'm going to add an extension tube. Okay, here we go. Now, I'm on a ladder, I'm looking through an access panel, I'm reaching down the duct. I 
take my tool, I get it up there as far as I can, and I just push. Now it's in there. Now I'm going to go ahead and push the excess tubing. Now remember that piece of yellow tape. That's our marker tape now. I know that that needs to be even with the mouth of the duct before I deploy the damper. And it is. About right where I want it. Now this is a standard hand pump for a blood pressure cuff. You've seen these in the doctor's office, or at least it used to be. I think they've been outmoded now. But we're going to add these to our part line because this is a valuable device. While you're on the ladder, we're going to now deploy the damper in the duct. And I want to get that yellow tape right where I want it so I know where that damper is because it's, it's easiest to move right now. Here we go. Now I'm going to pump this and we're going to be re rewarded by a nice sharp pop when that tape lets go and the damper deploys. There we go. I'm going to give it a few more pumps also just to show what it looks like. we go. We don't want to overdo it. So that is deployed and even if it weren't it would deploy with actual use. Now I'm going to disconnect it and we're going to show the under vacuum the deflation. And that damper is installed and ready to go. It's time to move on to the next damper. So it's a very quick painless process to get it in there. Then it's just a matter of matching up the tubes, hooking back to the solenoid panel and pump, which then in turn will hook up to any 24 volt AC zoning system and you can enjoy the benefits of zoning in your home and get rid of those troublesome cold basements and hot ups here. Thank you, I'm Jerry Tartalino, this is RetroZone and this is the method for installing our flex dampers above ceilings that have been sheetrocked. Thank you.